Hello, my name is Mark. Welcome back for another video. In this video, I'll show you how I make this super high-tech mobile phone speaker. So to make the, the gramophone phone part, it's going to be an eight-sided, whatever you call it, an eight-sided thingamajig. I did go on a website to try and work out all the angles and all the different tapers and stuff, but I just ended up with a headache after reading that. So what I've done, I just cut some old ply. So it's a 22 and a half degree angle gives you an eight-sided thing with you. So then, so I made this one up. I just cut some ply. So it was a taper bit that I was really, I was trying to work out if there was some math, looking at some mathematical theory, but it wasn't, it was just too complicated. So basically, I've just cut a 22, 22 and a half degree angle on a tapered piece of ply, which has made that, old-fashioned gramophone shape thing so i'll show you how i set it up on the t t table saw but it's, lit it's just literally just cut cut the taper so i got some beach and some rose wood so i was going to around the eight sides i was going to alternate what one to the other i've just glued two bits together just out of some scraps i had so i cut these square on the chop saw first and then i'll show you how i did the tables how i, how I cut those on the t table saw okay so i got the blade of the table saw set over at 22 and a half degrees I've got this fence bar set at eight degrees, but I didn't, so I couldn't really work out how you're supposed to work it out. So literally I just did it with that plier tri trial and error. So when it's cut, the thin end of your wedge, as it were, is about 30 mil across at the, at the thin edge, and you're about 80 mil at the, um, at the widest point. And that's about 250 mil long. So if you want to make one, that's roughly, but I just, put a bit of ply through a couple of times just out, out of trial and error and worked it out because I couldn't I couldn't work out how you were supposed to work it work it all out but that's what I've got so this is at around roughly eight degrees so I'll cut one so you can sort of see and then you have to reverse the angle to cut I'll show you in a minute anyway that bit So you've now got your 22 degree thing at an angle. So I cut them all like that, and then I'll make a little jig thing up to do the reverse cuts. Set this super simple jig up just to cut the second angle. So that's set at the 80 degrees again. Piece of ply is on there with the, with, the, with the reverse angle, the same as the angle I cut the first time. So just push these against it, Toggle clamp to hold them position, you could use your fingers, but it's quite close to the blade. Slide through, cuts them. Every single one is then exactly the same size because this is all fixed. So you just keep pushing it up against, cut it. So hopefully it'll all go together in a minute. So it does all fit together. Um, I just taped it just to make sure. What I'm gonna do now is sand up all the inside parts and then, well, I can just glue it together with the, with the tape as the can't see. There's no way I'm going to be able to get clamps on there. So I'll get it all sanded up inside because obviously there's no way I'm going to be able to sand. Well, not without a great deal of difficulty anyway. So these little fits together, that's the main thing. Okay, try to try and attempt the glue up then. Try again.
Leave this overnight, see what happens in the morning, I suppose. Taking out the tape, giving it a sand up, just cleaned all the glue off. It's not come out too bad, it's not perfect, but it will definitely work anyway. Um, what I'm thinking now is obviously, I've got like a box arrangement which the phone's going to go in but I was just looking for something else and I just come across this so I'm sort of wondering is if I could mount if I could sort of mount it on there so obviously cut cut that off there so it's just the top of the ball obviously I have to hollow the inside of the ball out I'll have a little play around with it come back and film some more got one of those little drum sander things and I've rounded out like inside there so that ball thing then well they'll fit on there so I'm gonna adjust the angle so what I'm gonna do now is drill out through the bottom cut that cut that plug off drill out drill up through, through the bottom and drill a hole in the side so the sound can travel through and then I think I'm trying to dowel or attach that on there like that. So I sort of scooped out the middle of that or dr drilled it out. I sort of moved the, that portion a bit about a bit in the middle and sort of hollowed it out as much as I can. So now I'm going to join that onto there. Think about a couple of little dowels and then what I'm thinking is to cut the bottom of that plate there on angle to make the gramophone part kick up in the air. So I think it'd just look, if it sits, I know I could join it on there on angle, but I just think it'd give it a bit more detail if, if that bottom is not square. So I don't know, it's gonna be a pain to work out where the dowels go. Try and get a couple of dirt, dirt dowels in there. So I think if I just glue that to there, I don't think it's gonna be strong enough without some form of fixing because some people are going to pick it up by it or something and it's going to get snapped. So I'll get a couple of dowels in now, I think, and then get that off an angle. Go from there. So I've got that thing with you glued onto it. Got a bit carried away doing it and forgot to film any of it, but it's just gluing on, so it's fairly straightforward. I know I said I was going to put, so obviously you need to set up an angle, but I was going to get this bit of an angle, but I can't make my mind up, so I'm gonna leave it for the time being and get on with the box it sits on for the time being and then have a think and put it on there and see what it looks like. Okay, so this bit is gonna be the top and the bottom, I'll cut it in half, but I left it as one piece because it's gonna be easier to cut to cut the, the rebates on it is one piece. So you imagine that's cut in half. So that's that's the two sides. And then that bit's gonna become like a little little tray that slides out so, so the phone can sit on there and you still got a little bit of space underneath it's like a little desk tidy or something because I mean so it's still you've still got a sort of a use apart from a speaker I've done it reasonably wide because phones are getting bigger now and if anything not smaller but obviously it depends on the size of your phone if it slid right in underneath so you ended the speakers up there you need to better get your phone back out again so I'm just going to cut like a little rebate in there to allow this little drawer to slide in and out I'll cut it all up and show you a bit easier. Okay, so this is where we're at now. So I've cut a rebate in the, in the top and the bottom all the way around. So then the rebate in the side to put the little drawer tray thing. slide in there so you can put your phone in there obviously so your phone drops right to the back 
you'd be, never get the thing out, be tipping it up. So that was just lazy to take your drawing out. You've got a little bit of space underneath, but you can use as a desk tidy or something, put your pens or whatever in there. So then that's gonna get mounted on top of there. So what I think I'll do is get, get all this sanded up, basically the inside. I think I'll mount that because I can just screw up from the inside because you won't see the screws. Just to fix that to there because I don't just want to glue it. So I fix that in there, and then the whole thing can be glued up, tray can be cut down, and just need a sand and finish them. Oh, yeah, I did forget to say obviously, you're going to need to drill a hole in the lid to correspond with the hole in the bottom of that, otherwise, the sand ain't going to come out anywhere, is it? I'm just hoping the acoustics of this thing is actually going to work. The amount of trouble I've gone to making it, but if you put your phone inside it, it does echo it out quite nicely, so we'll find out. So it's out of the clamps now. They can't be too bad. So it's just a shelf, really. So I think I just cut it off flush and then put like a little thin hand finger pull on the, on the, on the bottom just to make it easier to, to catch because so when it's in there, it'd be a bit of a pain to get your fingers on it otherwise. So I thought I'd give you a demonstration just to prove it does work. So. Start the song and stick it in. I don't know if that sounded louder, louder on the camera or not, but it definitely sounds much louder in the room. Um, which just pretty much goes to prove you don't really need a, a, a Bluetooth speaker. You're much better off with, with one of them. And it looks nicer. Um, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.